guys welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new my name is Lydia today I wanted to do a hairstyles video I haven't done a hairstyles video in quite a while I wanted to specifically do like a on trend fashion hairstyles video because there's a few hairstyles that I'm loving at the moment that are specific to like fashion or the side of fashion that I'm interested in anyway yeah I have four hairstyles to show you because I'm not going to be doing anything really crazy or dramatic. They're kind of very simple, easy to do hairstyles. So give the video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I tend to upload new videos every single Friday. And without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. I really hope you enjoy. The first hairstyle I'm doing is one that I wore in my previous video. And I wear this literally every single day because it's so, so easy to do. There are two different ways of doing it. So I'm just literally doing a slick back bun, but like super easy, quick no faffing about a slick back bun nothing too sleek and slick to your head kind of loose but not too messy so there's two different ways you can do this bun there's the way of just using a standard bobble or you can use a clip which is what i tend to use for the bobble method i just put all my hair to the back of my head and twist it round to make a bun and then just double knot it with a bobble and this method i usually put a scrunchie on top as well just to make it a bit more like fashionable aesthetically pleasing or the way that I tend to do the most often is to again pull all my hair to the back of my head, twist it around as normal and then on the side of my like burn I just put a big chunky clip and there are other ways you can do this, you can twist it upwards and put the clip underneath. The next hairstyle is the whole bubble braid as I like to call it. It's basically a ponytail and then you create this like bubble effect down the ponytail, super easy to do again. You just need about four or five hair balls depending on how long your hair is. So you're first going to take all your hair slick to the back of your head, kind of like in the centre of the back of your head. I'm going to secure that with a bubble as normal, just like a regular ponytail. Then you're going to go a few inches down that ponytail and secure another ponytail. And then just repeat that until you get to the end of the ponytail basically. You can then also pull apart the sections like in between the bubbles as well to create that like bigger bubble effect. I kind of like to keep it a bit more sleek but kind of pulled out so it's like more sleek but not too sleek if that makes sense. So for the next hairstyle you're going to keep your hair still in a ponytail at the back of your head. And you're literally just going to do a three strand, standard three strand braid all the way down the back of the ponytail. So it's literally just a ponytail braid braid ponytail you can of course loosen the braid up if you want i kind of like to keep it not too tight not too loose i don't really loosen it up once i braided it i just kind of leave it as it is and for the final hairstyle the really big trend that's in at the moment is like big bouncy blow dryers obviously we can't go out and get blow dryers right now and i will show you actually how i do like my salon style blow dry at home and i will be doing that when i do my hair care routine and when i film all of that but i want to show you how you can create that like big bouncy hair look the big bouncy loose waves with a curling wand so i'm using the molly may beauty works the original one the first one that they come out with the curling barrel i think this is 32 millimeters if i'm correct i set it to 180 degrees and i'm going to be using all the clips that it comes with as well it comes with 10 clips so just starting by brushing my hair through my hair is a couple of days few days old at the moment it is three day old hair i believe i wash my hair typically once to twice a week because i have quite dry hair naturally i'm going to start off by spraying some heat protectant in my hair um just to protect it from the heat damage but i have quite a lot of hair my hair is not too thick not too fine um but i'm not going to be like sectioning or parting my hair in two or anything um, just because I am too lazy. Whenever I curl my hair, I rarely section it, only if I have like a lot of time. But because this is a thicker barrel, you can like take kind of bigger sections. I start off at the back of my hair, I just find it easier that way. So I'm gonna take a fairly big section. I'm gonna basically have five sections on each head since there's 10 clips. And that way I can just let them set. I'm literally gonna be curling them how Molly May recommends to use her curler anyway. And I'm literally gonna take all the sections going away from my face. I don't take any going forwards, just all away. And I'm taking it flat to the iron as well. I'm not twisting as I go around. I'm keeping it dead flat to the curling wand. Just hold it for a little bit and then I let it go into my hand. I'm gonna roll it up. This is why I let it go into my hands. It stays in that spiral roll it up and then just pin it to my head like that using one of the clips and I'm just going to repeat that going all around my head basically. The reason I'm pinning it to my head is so it curls in that shape so that the curls basically set a bit better and last longer because 
curls never last in my hair otherwise and it really helps to set them in place because otherwise my hair just doesn't stay curly for more than 20 minutes <laughs> is one side of my hair all done and pinned up. I'm just gonna carry on with the other side and I'll catch up with you guys once both sides are done. So now that my hair has completely cooled, this is the time you want to start taking all the clips out. You definitely want to make sure your hair is completely cooled for this bit though, otherwise the curls won't last. So basically just make sure your hair is completely cooled before you start taking these out. If when you're taking them out you realise it's warm again, just roll them back up and pin them back up to your head. You can literally pop these in and then do your makeup or go eat or something. Um, but it creates these really nice, big, bouncy curls. And I'm going to take the brush that the set comes with and just loosely brush out those curls. They're a bit more like big, bouncy waves like that. You can obviously go in and recut any pieces if you want them thicker or if you wanted smaller curls you could do like tighter or thinner sections or just not brush them out at the end. And now you want to get some hairspray. Not too much because you don't want your hair to feel crispy or anything. And you get these really nice curls. So I'm going to take out the other side as well now. And that's how I create my big bouncy at home curls. And these are just so lovely and because I've got bangs as well they sit really nicely like with the curls so those are the four quick and easy everyday on trend fashionable hairstyles I have to show you guys let me know down below which one was your favorite or if you have any other hairstyles you want me to try it out or want me to do a whole other video on this then just let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next Friday for a brand new video bye guys